Except for like a hundred thousand small children. children. <laughs> it's my jam. No. So guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, sorry, I need to get this. So. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who is this? It's me. What is this, some sort of joke? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Scoot Review, bitch. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. It is your boy, Scooter Brad, here, back with another brand new episode of Scoot View, the one and only news reporting show where I bring you guys the latest in, well, scootering news, duh. There are plenty of news topics to go over today. We've got a big headline today, as you can see by the title. We'll get to that a little bit later on. If you do end up enjoying this video, make sure you smash that like button for me really quick. Subscribe for more videos like this. Yeah, occasionally. If you love scootering, you can head over to thevaultproscooters.com and use my code BUDDHA for 10% off any order and with that being said let's get right into the scootering news there are one two three clip of the days today the first one comes from jesse bays and it's a kicky rota kicky i mean it's to resi but it's still sick watch this he comes up kickless rota whip kickless rota right in the center i mean i don't know about you guys i can't exactly rota whip at all and to do it in between two kickless rewinds which i also am not very good at is quite impressive to me. How about you? The second clip was posted up by District and it is of a guy called Nikolai, which ultimately just reminds me of Black Ops Zombies, really. Oh, I have run out of vodka. What do I drink next? Now this post was actually a small montage, but I just picked one of the clips from it. Roll it. So he goes up front slider, whip, another front slider, 180 out. What? Are you kidding me? I mean, that shit was tight, but the third contender here is Derek Say. Now check out this fakey clip that he got and posted up on the Instagram. Again, this was posted in a montage, but he goes up and does a fakey full whip finger whip on a quarter pipe. I actually did say to him that Josh Dogman holds that trick. You know who you are. But let me know who you think had the best clip in the poll that is up in the cards right there next to my head. Just up there, that one there. Click that and vote for your favorite clip that was posted on today's clip of the day. We'll see who takes it out next week. Last week, I informed you guys that Mad Gear has now announced three new pro riders to their team. They've now just announced a fourth in the UK division of their team. Jaden Sherman has now joined the UK Mad Gear team. And I gotta say, guys, this kid, Oh my gosh, he kills it. I love this dude. I actually did a scoot review on him not too long ago. In fact, I actually low-key think it was quite a long time ago, actually. Anyway, Jaden Sherman is extremely talented at such a young age, and I gotta give him mad props. Congratulations for making the team, Jaden. I knew you would go on to do great things, and I'm so happy that you've been given a spot on the Mad Gear team. Congratulations once again. If you guys wanna follow him on Instagram, I will put it on screen now. You should definitely check out some of his content and definitely support this guy as an upcoming writer because he is a savage. <laughs> the stack of the day today was posted on Badger Clit's Instagram story, and it features a, a very painful looking fall roll it this here is a 12 stair rail with a kink at the bottom and bam straight to the chest <laughs> can we please get a medic hello can help damn that shit looks so painful guys if you see any mad stacks on instagram make sure you let me know give me a tag drop me a dm and i might feature it on stack of the day addict scooters is now teasing the fact that they have welcomed on board a brand new rider and in the comments section it kind of leans towards the fact that it might be one Leon Lindgren. Now this guy hasn't been officially announced yet, so I cannot 100% confirm that he is the new team rider, but it looks like in his most recent Instagram clip that he is now riding a red attic deck, which is good to see. So I'm assuming that he is the brand new rider. And I gotta say, Brandon James is now on the attic team. He did leave District a little while back and now has joined the attic team, which is great to see. So these guys I'm hoping are gonna come out with some bang and content very soon. The Blacksmith deck just dropped recently, as you guys probably know. I did a lot of leaks on that and stuff during scoot review episodes well into last year but i gotta say addict definitely one of the better teams out there they make great content they are a little bit more low-key to the core community and yeah definitely scope some addict videos if you've never seen one before 
I can guarantee you will enjoy them. The Volt Pro Scooters Sovereign of Street lineup is forever growing day by day. We now have a complete rider list of the following. Zach Munn, Logan Fuller, Boris Germain, Charles Fidel, Juzzy Carter, Nick Tedrick, and Ryan Upchurch are currently on the confirmed list of riders that have been welcomed aboard to the finals later on this year. For those of you who don't know, the Sovereign of Street is an invite-only competition for street riders, and the prize purse is around $11,000. Big dollars coming up this year, boys, for the street teams. Big ups to the Volt Pro Scooters and uh, everybody else that is collaborating to make this possible. We owe you dearly. Speaking of competitions with massive prize pools, the Scooter Hut Pro Series is in full swing at the moment with the finals right around the corner on the 24th of September. The current rider list that has come out of the Australian finals, the UK European finals and the USA finals are as it follows. The Australian qualifiers were Dylan Sinclair, Jared Colwell, Spencer Chermside and Angus Hughes. The UK and European qualifiers are Richard Zelinka, Archie Cole, Leo Spencer and Felix Percival. The USA qualifiers are Cam Ward, Raymond Warner, Wyatt Anderson, and Nolan Schumacher. And the pre-qualifiers from last year's competitions are Cody Flom, John Marco, Clayton Lindley, Coda Schutz, Ben Thomas, Jordan Clark, and Jamie Hull. There will be more riders added to this list in the next coming weeks before the finals are hosted on the 24th of September in Brisbane, Australia. And I will keep you guys up to date with all of the information that comes out in the not so distant future. There's a web edit on the horizon. Can you guess who it is? Anybody? Anybody? Clayton Lindley's Web Edit 2 trailer has been released all over social media and I am highly anticipating this edit. Guys, you're not ready. You're not ready for this. I don't think you guys understand the amount of effort that's gone into this video. I really got to commend Clayton Lindley on this one because you guys know he and I are very close friends and I have to say that like this web edit, he's put his heart and soul into it. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it when it comes out. In fact, you know what? I know you're going to enjoy it because it's absolutely bonkers. The video is being released three days from when you're watching this video. So make sure you peep it as soon as it comes out. I'm sure it's going to be plastered all over the Instagram stories from your favorite pro writers because everybody is highly anticipating participating this edit and I can guarantee you're going to thoroughly enjoy it. One of Clayton's teammates, Dylan Ryan, has just recently released a signature wheel and t-shirt design with Root Industries. And I've got to say, guys, this northern light colorway on his signature holocore wheel looks absolutely fire. I love the t-shirt design as well on the side that they go perfectly together. So if you guys are trying to cop something that's purely original and you're going to support one of the pro riders out there, make sure you pick up some of these Dylan Ryan wheels. They look fire. I love the design. I've got to say, in all honesty, I've never seen anything like this. It's gone and taken away from the galaxy spectrum and it's put it into something new like the Northern Lights. And I think that's a great original idea. Big ups to you, Dylan Ryan and Root Industries for producing, for, 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 producing, for producing these parts. I love them. <laughs> Friends and family. Jack Doubt's been roasted. Again. The Chicago Street Jam went down yesterday in obviously Chicago. This Outset Select X Sky High collaborative event looked absolutely wicked. There were so many videos on so many Instagram stories posted today, including the stack which you saw earlier. <laughs> Personally, I was gutted because I did get invited by Outset Select to attend this event and I would have absolutely loved to have seen all the tricks being thrown down yesterday. It looked absolutely crazy. Might have passed on the after party. You guys know what happens at those. And although the only fight that was witnessed at the Chicago Street Jam after party was Floyd Mayweather versus McGregor, something else went down. You may or may not know this, but about six months ago, I reported that a writer by the name of Sugar dropped a diss track on Jack Doubt. Headline today, Jack Doubt has stirred up a ton of controversy on Facebook after there was some major drama on Facebook regarding an ABD trick that was done on the Hollywood 16 stair set because that's drama. But pretty much like there was this big saga on Facebook, all of these comments started flooding in. Jack Dow was talking magic on these riders. These riders were talking magic back and everyone was just like... A lot of you guys will probably know I'm really good friends with Jack Doubt and it was kind of hard to not defend him in this situation because of the fact that I have to report both sides of the story to you guys as the community and let you decide your opinion for yourselves. So in saying that I thought it was kind of strange because it's been a long time since that drama went down but last night at the after party this happened. Quack. 
So he gets up on the mic, he's spitting the bars of the diss track, and everybody's loving it. Everyone's frothing the diss track, you guys. Everyone was probably smoking, everyone's probably drinking, they're all having a good time, getting pretty crazy, and this is just something that happens at after parties, but I think, personally, to post it on Instagram, it's just like, bruh. Because from my own personal experience, a lot of these writers chat shit about not wanting beef in the scootering industry, but like, what is this video? You guys know what I'm saying? Like, I have nothing against these people. Some of them don't like me, which is absolutely fine. I completely respect their opinion. They don't have to like me. I don't expect them to like me. But at the same time, it's like, guys, do we really need to be posting that six month old drama on Instagram with no motivation? Oh, but Scooter Brad, you recycle drama all the time. The only reason why I would repost a dramatic story is if it developed or if there was something added onto it or I just did it as a meme, like a very, very, very sly plug at a meme. And you guys know me, at best, that's what would happen. <laughs> Please don't reject my handshake. But yeah, Sugar Shady dropped this diss track as a live performance at the Chicago Street Jam after party and everyone was loving it. Everyone was going crazy. It, it's still kind of going on on uh, Instagram stories right now as we speak because at the time of me recording this I had only just witnessed this literally one hour ago. So but guys look every single sport has drama every single topical news station has drama every single movie has drama every single relationship has drama at some point in time having drama in a situation isn't necessarily bad but at the wrong place at the wrong time kind of can be but from my perspective it doesn't seem like there was any motivation for them to be hating on jacked out six months after it actually initially happened and i get that the fact that they don't like him and he wasn't invited to this event he wasn't actually there it's kind of up in the air right now like what to say i don't really know what to say because i don't want jack to hate me i don't want them to hate me any more than they already do but i thought i would share this with you guys because it was obviously all over instagram and a lot of you have probably already seen it take what you will from this and if someone wants to diss me Go for it. I'm going to be leaving a lot of the Chicago Street Jam footage from the Instagram stories at the end of this video so that you guys can watch them if you don't necessarily follow the correct Instagram users. So that's pretty much it for the news today, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. You can also follow me on Instagram. You can subscribe to, have you can subscribe to the channel that you're watching right now. Make sure you click the bell and turn on those notifications because the notification shout out goes to this person right here. Congratulations on making the notification shout out. You can also join the Facebook group. Scoot review. Every post has to be approved by the admin, which is me. Only the best scootering content gets posted on the page. That is it for today's Scoot review. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Scoot Brown. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Bye. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Thank you.